Hey everybody, it's Richard R. M. Auto Diag here, and we're going to have a look at a short to earth. Okay, before we start, I'd like to give a big thank you to any new subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, if you click the subscribe button below and click the bell for notifications, that'd be great. You'll keep up to date with all the latest videos. Okay, so as promised from the last video, we had a blown fuse. I'll put a link in the description and I'll put it on a card above. We know that we have a blown fuse and it keeps blowing when we put the ignition on and it's for the cigarette lighter. So we're going to see if we can trace down why. Okay, our first quick check we're going to do is we're going to see which side of the fuse holder has any voltage on and then we know where the voltage is coming from and the other side should be going towards our cigarette lighter so we've got our multimeter set up on the volts I'm going to take the black lead and I'm going to put it to earth and I'm going to take the red lead and we're going to go to the fuse that we want to look at so as you see there's two terminals now we're going to want to check for it going to 12 volts on one of these so the first terminal so you see we've got 11.9 12 volts there and the other side should have no voltage on which it doesn't we just got it flicking around on a few millivolts there so we know that this side is at the feed into the fuse and this side is what is going down the back of the car towards the cigarette lighter so now that we know that we can get on with some testing and see what's going on. This fuse that's been removed here in the middle is our, our problem area. So what I like to do with shorts to earth is I like to use a bulb because I find that the easiest easiest way to do it. Um, so this is just an old one out of an old, old indicator bulb. Uh, I've put a couple of ends on it and what I've got is some attachments that will go onto it and I can uh, just back probe into those uh, sockets for the fuse. You don't have to do it like this, if you've got a bulb you can just strip some wire and do it. But this method gives us a good visual on what's going on. So we've got that in there, touching on those terminals. I can prop this up at the same time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put the ignition on. And because it's a short to earth, the bulb should light up. And there we go, you can see the bulb is lit. So we know that it's finding a path to ground. So we've got 12 volts one side and the other side shouldn't be doing anything until we tell it to but it is going to ground because we're lighting a bulb so this is a pretty good visual representation of of what's going on and it's something that you can keep an eye on so if you if you've got a problem with uh, wiring and you want to wriggle test it and see if you move away from an earth you'll see the bulb flickering and you'll know you're in the right area so it's generally what i like doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the front of the car and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try disconnecting the cigarette lighter seeing if the bulb goes out and then we'll know whether we've got a cigarette lighter problem or we've got a wiring problem okay I'm just about to disconnect and that's with the cigarette lighter disconnected as you can see the bulb has gone out so we are going to suspect that it is the cigarette lighter and not the wiring in this case um, what I'm going to do is I'll plug it back in and I'll show you another test with a multimeter. Just another quick note on the bulb method. If you don't happen to have a uh, an old piece of piece of wiring, what you can do is on these little 501 bulbs, is they've got the little bent up bits of wire that make contact. So if you pull them out. You can see them just there. If you pull them out straight, they can make two little sort of prongs. And then, again, you can just slot that straight in and it'll do the same job if you don't have anything else made up. Okay, method number two. What we're going to do is we're going to do a very similar test, but we are going to use our 
continuity test on the multimeter and we're going to check for continuity to ground and we're going to do the same disconnect test. So we've got the multimeter set up onto ohms. On this multimeter I'm going to have to change it to continuity test by pressing the blue button on here. Now what this means is when it finds continuity it's going to make a buzzing noise. So if I touch the leads together we should get a beep. Which is a wonderful sound. So we're going to take one lead and we're going to attach it to earth. And we're going to get our other lead and we are going to attach it to the side of the fuse that doesn't have the 12 volts on. We had 12 volts on this side of the fuse and we've got nothing on this side. This is the side that goes to the cigarette lighter in the front. So if we just probe it into here, we have that wonderful beeping noise. I'm going to do the same thing. Is I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to disconnect the cigarette lighter quickly. And I'm going to disconnect now. And as you can hear, the noise went away, so we no longer have any continuity to ground. Again, proving it, it's just rather than a visual way with a bulb, this is an audible way with the meter. Okay, what I've done is I've taken out the complete assembly here, and we've got the cigarette lighter in the middle here, as you can see. Now this outer piece here should be the earth side of it, and if you can see the little sort of goldy, goldy coloured piece in the middle, that should be where your lives coming in and I think I see what's going on here but just to prove it on the multimeter what we're going to do is we're going to touch the outside here and then we're going to touch the middle and we shouldn't get a beep but we will so we've got that now I've got another one out here and when you open it up again you can see the gold piece in the middle so what we'll do is we'll touch it on the outside awkward this and then we'll touch it on the outside and then we'll touch it in the middle and oh well because neither of those are connected to each other which they shouldn't be with this let's see if I can get it in the shot can you see just down here these tabs that come up they're actually touching the outside bit here so and it's doing that on both sides so whether when someone's you know pulled their charger or what out of here it's bent those pins so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and press those pins back down we shouldn't have any continuity and we should stop blowing fuses then as well so I'll just go and do that and we'll see if it works okay so we're all done here and I don't know if you can see in that might be easier to see from the back. Yeah, there we go. So, this bit here was touching on the actual shell here, and so was the other side. See this bit poking out? That was again touching that side. So, that was what was causing our short, I believe. So, if I get this in shot. So, now if we touch the center and touch the outside we're staying OL which is open circuit we're no longer getting the beep so we're happy with that what I've got also is this is like a sort of a standard charging type thing for sat navs and stuff and what you can see here is this piece and this piece is going to be the earth it springs out and touches the sides and this piece at the bottom is what picks up the 12 volt feed it's usually sprung loaded like that so when it pushes in it touches the bottom that gets its 12 volts that gets the earth and it makes its circuit so our problem was this piece was constantly touching this piece inside and causing a short to earth permanently and that was what was blowing our fuse so what i'm going to do now is i'll get it all put back together in the front and we'll put our bulb back in turn the ignition on and we'll see if uh, it still lights if it doesn't, we'll put a fuse in and we should be good to go. Okay, we're set back up. We've got the bulb in line. I'm just gonna go put the ignition on. That shouldn't light up. So that's the ignition on and we don't have a lit bulb, which is good. So now we can get a fuse, put it back in and see if it blows when we put the ignition on. Okay, we've got a close up of the fuse there. Number four is back in. 
we're going to turn the ignition on and you shouldn't hear any clicking or popping and we should be good so that is the ignition on I didn't hear any pops or clicks or bangs which is all good what I will do is I'll get a multi, uh, test light just do one quite quick test so we've got it connected to ground and we can touch both sides out a bit for you there so there's one side lit up and the other side lit up no more blowing fuse everything's good in the world okay so hope you guys thought that was uh informative thanks for watching don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications uh, smash the like button and give any comments if you've got any and don't forget to look at my other videos Thanks for watching. Cheers.